and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Armenia Bielefeld up against Stuttgart. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And so the Stuttgart starting 11. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations. And their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Wonderfully weighted pass. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. So now a corner. And over it comes. Will it be? Well, when all was said and done, he's failed to hit the target. Mavropanos, Wataru Endo, Kalajic, crisp tackling. Well, they've had their fair share of difficulties in front of their own fans for whatever reason, but the fact remains they possess the worst home record in the league. Well, two wins in 13 games means these fans are becoming restless. And it's not just the results that have been poor, it's been a lack of ambition which has really upset them. Hopefully we see a better performance today. Wataru Endo, Stenzel with it, Endo, a fine reading of the situation, well the attacking options appear plentiful, but nothing comes of it, good defending it was. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Good-looking ball, there could be a chance now. Can someone latch onto it? Well, not hard to read that pass.
Atakan Karazor won it back and options in the centre could be saved but still a chance and thumped away well I still don't know how he kept that out Derek it's a fantastic save to keep it all square well, can they be creative from here Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And deciding to go short with this one. Really good block. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. And a timely intervention. Well, the counter chance looks very real. It needs an accurate cross. And played to the front post. Just the clearance that was needed. This looks threatening. And the keeper had the measure of it. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. And he's fired over the corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Can he give them the lead? So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Okugawa are showing good vision. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Can someone get on the end of this? Wonderful header, excellent goalkeeping. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Mongala. Valdemar Anton moving it forward. 
Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Well, as you can see from those stats, they're just not creating enough. They need to play at a quicker tempo, get the ball into the danger area and get more players in the box. Make the opposition have to defend it. Endo, setting off perhaps a little bit too much here, and the cross into the middle, and simple for the keeper. Oh, it might be, and into the back of the net. Well, they paid the price for their negligence, they let them come at them, and now it's a different equation. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. see from them now first up a really sumptuous ball well not cleared away completely shot blocked but still alive wonderful chance well only just wide of the post both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Lovely ball over the top. and into the last 20 minutes well just listen to the atmosphere in here the fans doing every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser Krieger looks how to dispossess your opponent well the counter chance looks very real he could pick out a teammate but he's keen on cutting in And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Vietl. On the attack in the closing phase. Oh, excellent diving stop. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. So making the substitution now. Who's going to get on the end of it? And I think the threat has been averted. On the offensive, a chance to whip it in. Has a go, determined defending. A room to Rome on the wing, down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Untidy in possession.
Förster. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And given away. And now the full-time whistle. Another disappointing day for the home fans. Their abysmal record continues. Well, it was the same old story. They weren't totally outplayed, and there were periods in the game where they dominated. But they aren't quite good enough in either penalty box at the moment, and that's why they lost this one.